Welcome to On The Set, I'm Jeannie. I have an amazing, amazing, no, I mean amazing guest today. Have you ever been to a one woman show or a one man show? Have you ever done that and wondered how do they do it? Well, I'd like to, I'd really like to introduce Kristen Jazak. Welcome to On The Set, I'm so proud to have you here. Pink. Oh, Gina Pink, now that is your color. Imagine a soft spring day in May, the sweet aroma of cherry blossoms in the air, and my favorite, lilacs and mimosa. Just not together, because that'll make you sick to your stomach. And we don't need you stumbling down the aisle, all woozy with a dizzy spell. The alcohol from the night before will do enough damage to us, never mind the smell of that. Yes, us. Aren't you going to invite your own dear mother to your bachelorette party? Oh, Gina, I know why you're giving me that look. You're so right. You're not complaining because, well, you don't want me there, but because you can't have any booze because of the baby. You're so smart. Who needs a bachelorette party anyways when you have me? You can have just as much fun right here in this room. We can, oh, I can do your hair and your nails the night before, and we can watch movies like, oh, Terms of Endearment, and I can give you a bikini wax. Or is it a Brazilian? What? I'm your mother. What are you going to do? Have one of those tan, blonde, bleached haired teenagers do it at one of those glitzy salons? Lord knows you can use the money. And we both know you want that special area waxed on your special night. Don't want this man of yours thinking you're some kind of hairy Italian bridezilla. <sighs> so that settles it. I'll do your bikini wax in my upper lip while we're at it, and we can have some real girl talk over tea and biscotti. Speaking of biscotti, your Aunt Liddy and I have decided that we're gonna make all the pastry for your wedding, and Gino down the street is gonna design your wedding cake. What? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I know that Gino's an automotive mechanic, but what you didn't know is that Gino has a real hidden talent for designing cars. I had to get my wagon fixed the other day and I mentioned that you were getting married and he started to cry. You know the guy has had a thing for you since you were in kindergarten playing the mud together. I know, I know, you didn't like his unibrow and his breath always smelt like garlic, but underneath all that hair grease, he's quite handsome. Anyways, he started bawling like a baby and I started to rub his back and say, it's okay, you weren't the one who knocked her up. Then I mentioned that maybe he should do something for your wedding as a sort of, you know, closure for all those years that he's pined for you. You know, any feeling or emotion can be dealt with if you have a creative outlet. I heard that on Dr. Dominic's radio show the other night. You know, um, the Italian fun station, 105.7 FM. Anyways. He had one of those lovesick callers call in, and that was the moment he decided to design your cake. Well, actually, first he wanted to design your wedding dress, <laughs> but you can thank your mother for talking out of that one. All I had to say is, Gino, all that lace, what would your father think? And he changed his mind real fast on, on that one. See, so you can trust me. <laughs> so now you don't have to worry about spending hundreds of dollars on a wedding cake, and Gino can put the pictures of your wedding cake in his portfolio for art school. Everyone wins. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. You're amazing. You're ama my cheeks hurt. Oh my gosh. <laughs> How many Red Bulls have you had today? Oh, goodness. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. That's a one-woman show Whoa, business right there. Wow. It's like running a marathon. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And you wrote that. Oh, yeah. And you actually, you, I, I swear, it was really you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I know the real, we've been bonding all afternoon, and I know the real you, mm -hmm. but you are just, you're brilliant. You, that's Thank a hard you. job. What made you, no. Let me rephrase that. What possessed you? <laughs> to... Sometimes it is like being possessed. No, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> What possessed you to do this? I really, um, you know, I have a real passion 
for the characters that I write. I, I've always been a character actress. I love playing those large, just quirky, crazy roles. They're just so much fun. You know, who wants to be the pretty girl, right? Too boring. <laughs> And um, I really have a love for my audiences. And um, the great thing about doing one woman plays is they really come from a place of passion. You know, I really, the messages that are in them are a part of me and to be able to share that. So that's why I really love doing one woman mm -hmm. plays because each and every single one of them, I mean, I really care about the characters and I really care about the messages in each of them. You know, I have one on um, human dignity you know, and that's something that today we, we forget the value of the people who are around us, you know, so. Now, share the message with this one. Mm -hmm. So, um, the one that I just did? Yes. Okay. <laughs> so, the one that I just did. I know is, you named it Gina. I'm, right, and, and, and right. I'm Jeannie, but it was Gina, the, <laughs> um, yes, the Gina, Italian mother, isn't that what it yeah, was? Yeah, uh, Gina is the daughter, mm -hmm. and this is her Italian mom, and the it's part of a larger play called Baggage. Mm -hmm. And it's all about a woman who gets stuck in airport security, and she's forced to go through her bag that she hasn't cleaned out in eight years. And I mean, if you're a woman, you understand mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And when she's stuck in airport security, she's, she's going through her bag, and she starts finding mm -hmm. these items that bring back memories of the past mm -hmm. and I portray all these different characters of people and things that have happened in the past that she's either like with her mother she does have a very sour relationship I mean in the end you you see her kind of um, you know blow up on her mom and you see her mom's reaction how much her mother really loves her I mean everyone has crazy parents do you know what I mean but, oh yeah <laughs> oh I mean, yeah yes. yeah I mean, we see that just if going to the grocery store mm -hmm. other mm -hmm. people have crazy parents <laughs> oh yeah but what we don't really realize is sometimes the reason why they're so crazy is because they really love us mm -hmm. you know well you had mannerisms you use the hands and you know your Italian mother mm -hmm. and you know you, you had to study that also oh, yeah. in order you wrote it yes and and you perfected it and you probably yes. you know you'll be critiquing yourself and oh, improving yeah. it all the time oh right? yeah definitely yeah. definitely and I mean I actually come from a Portuguese background which is really interesting um, and it's so funny because you know the Italians the Portuguese the Greeks mm -hmm. there's a lot of similarities mm -hmm. in terms of how they function how they work as a mm -hmm. family um, but I chose Italian because I travel all over the country and I really mm -hmm. wanted it to be a heritage that I felt many people could relate to whereas mm -hmm. there are a lot of Portuguese people but when you start getting into the middle of the country and that sort of thing they don't they can't relate to it right. as much so that makes yeah. sense yeah. so you started um, at a very young age yeah you started theater and your family's involved in theater so oh, it's yeah. in your blood and you were raised this way mm -hmm. but you were a shy little girl I was who turned into this unbelievable <laughs> scary isn't it <laughs> and we're gonna you brought some clips later we're gonna see a few clips mm -hmm. where you also have other sides of you as well so oh, definitely you know this is something that you're you're not just pursuing now you're actually right. pursuing film correct and yes. I, I understand you're out in LA you moved from I here am. where you grew up I and know. Out to LA to yeah. go into film too. It was it was quite the move. I moved in July and I've been there for um, it was the end of July when I got there, so I've been there about three months now. Yeah. And how's it going? Oh, I love it. I mean, I love doing one woman shows and everything, mm -hmm. and it's really great. But I just love being able to collaborate because I'm mm -hmm. a, I'm a very um, caring person, so I really mm -hmm. like being able to work with others on set and that sort of thing. And I think it's really important. I don't know or or care what line of work you come from, mm -hmm. but I think it's very important the way that we treat people in our presence because we don't realize how much a warm smile mm -hmm. or a joyful word or making someone laugh and how that affects people. Mm -hmm. So I really just I love being on set and I love being with the people that I work with. I really care about them. Well, one thing I've I found interesting in talking with you and getting to know you is that you decided, I mean, first of all, it's hard to just pick up and go across country like oh, you yeah. did, but you also went to Australia and you yes. took this there. Do you want to talk about that? Oh, goodness. It was an amazing experience. Mm -hmm. I was, I actually created my first piece, which you'll see a, a part from later on. It's called a Person to Person Mother Teresa Project. And I created that while I was in grad school. It was my um, graduate thesis project. Um, it was great. I had a great time putting it together. But when I left 
you know, I started applying for different jobs. Um, I went to Villanova University down mm -hmm. in Philly. That's mm -hmm. where I went. And I had moved back here and I'm starting to apply for different things. Back here meaning Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, one of the things, it was just like going out on a limb. I hadn't, I had been performing this piece for maybe three months mm -hmm. or something to that mm -hmm. effect, that particular piece. And I applied for this big, huge youth festival mm -hmm. called World Youth Day. And this was the one in Sydney, Australia in 2008. It's an event with the Pope and thousands of youth. And so the Pope of, was there. The Pope was there. And out of yeah. 600 applicants, I was one of 200 who was chosen to perform for that week. Wow. Yeah, it was incredible. Wow. It was incredible. And to journey with all of my stuff and go over there. And actually, I had the honor. This was really, really cool. I actually performed right underneath a display of Mother Teresa. And I and her wow. stuff, like her sari, like I performed like on a stage mm -hmm. underneath her sari and her sandals, and it was really cool. And to have um, Mother Teresa's sisters there too, you know, present. Wow. Yeah. That you're was really, a, really you're neat. doing an awful lot. You know, I'm I'm serious. A one woman show. Tell us what that feels like to do. You're alone up there. You're alone. <laughs> it's like and, running a marathon mm -hmm. for real. You just. First of all, I've always been a very energetic performer. I'm a very mm -hmm. physical actor. I mean, you can tell the way, even when I'm talking now, I mm -hmm. can't stop my hands. I know. <laughs> I should handcuff you. It's the Portuguese in me, it really is. Okay. <laughs> um, but no, y you get into this rhythm of going, and you know, I just, I really enjoy doing it. And normally what happens is I'll get to the end of the hour of performing, and then I'll be all abuzz for a while. Mm -hmm. I'll want to eat something, and then I just crash. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you use it all up in one, yeah, one yeah. shot. All at adrenaline. Yeah. I actually did two performances this past Saturday back to back, and mm -hmm. I thought, oh, I'll be fine. And then by the end of it, oh my gosh, I was yeah. so exhausted. Yeah. <laughs> it's a creative side of you. Mm -hmm. So let's show a clip. Let's, let's, Great. let's give our viewers something else to laugh about and watch you and just see how amazing you really are. You're so talented. Thank so you. set up this next clip. I believe we're going to watch Jerry. I believe that's mm -hmm. who we're watching. Um, and this is from, it's a homeless man. He's from Person to Person, Mother Teresa Project, the play that I was just talking about that I went to Australia with. Oh, okay. So that's from that okay. particular show. Um, and the play as a whole, I play five different characters of different mm -hmm. people in our society that we tend to gloss over, mm -hmm. that Mother Teresa was really able to stop and see the value of. Mm -hmm. So it's all about stopping and listening. Because everyone can relate to Mother Teresa. Yes. So that even, I mean, she was uh, an amazing person, not just religious. Exactly. It was about giving. And oh, she, So yeah. everyone can relate to her. She loved everyone, and she just was mm -hmm. able to see the value. I mean, I play a prostitute. I play a woman in a nursing home, oh. a disabled wow. woman, you know, mm -hmm. uh, just all of these people that she was really able, and what a gift mm -hmm. to be able to do that, you mm -hmm. know, to really see the value of mm -hmm. each person and listen. It's all about what a listening. gift you have. Oh, thank so you. let's let's watch this clip Great. and we'll talk about it. Let's see how we did today. Gonna pull off the tabs for cancer. That's right. Even a nomad has to do his part. You know, normally about this time you'll lower your eyes and scurry away. But I see that's not the case for you folk. Nope, you're sticking around. Although, sometimes someone, someone's kind enough to buy me a coffee and a sandwich, at which point I am satisfied for a while. Don't get me wrong, I understand that my appearance is not the most welcoming. But you have to remember that at some point I came from some kind of family with some kind of roof over its head and Arkansas family to be exact. So, how did I get here? Well, I was a music major at New York University. That's right. I've been here for uh, 27 years of my life. Doesn't seem like that long, but you know what? Uh, time flies. Anyway, uh, I didn't quite make it as a musician. As a matter of fact, I barely made it through college. My father and I never did see eye to eye. He wanted me to be a successful businessman or whatever that means. I want to be the next long-haired, bell-bottomed, nicotine-induced rock star. <laughs> yeah, that's right. They all be cheering my name. Jerry, J 
Jerry, Jerry, my name be all up there, Max. Oh, yeah. Hey, 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 seems reasonable. Anyway, uh, my father died my sophomore year of college. Then, well, I got sort of depressed. It was 70s and I was a musician. Didn't take long for me to find a way to ease my pain, if you know what I mean. Hey, hey, I'm clean now, though. It's funny. Never seems to matter when you did what you did. Decided to still pass on that same frown of disapproval. It's kind of funny looking at all those frowning faces. You start to wonder, does anyone ever smile? It's like the whole world needs a giant facelift. Teresa once in the Bronx. Hey, I'm not kidding. I was in one of the soup kitchens run by our sisters. I guess she was coming to inspect the place. Anyway, uh, that woman could smile. She just beamed. There's one thing that she said to me that I still remember to this very day. She said, Jerry, Jesus is in the distressing disguise of the poor. I have to be honest with you. At the time, I didn't think much of it. I was hypnotized by this little nun. It was like one of those twilight zone moments. Or like a buzz from some really good old, oh, 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 hey, hey, cheesecake, cheesecake. Anyway, uh, later on, it hit me. Jesus in the distressing disguise of the poor? The poor? You mean to tell me I'm God? I got God in me? You mean to tell me I got Jesus in me playing peekaboo? Hey, hear it and weep. That's right. I got God in me. Oh my gosh, I'll tell you. If you ever, this acting thing doesn't work out, you yes. have a career as a homeless person. There we go. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Mom would be so proud. <laughs> I forgot that was you. I look over at you while we're watching it and I'm like, oh my gosh, wait, that's you. <laughs> like, that's how good 